if you are a people pleaser, I do not blame you. Do you know why? Because society train us to please others. Even when, since we, when we are born, they train us like to do what our parents tell us to do, what our siblings tell us to do. They even, they even tell us, right? You have to take care of your family. You have to take care of your siblings. You have to take care of your professors. You have to make other people happy, right? Because people are important. People are community. However, what they don't tell us is that if we are not okay with ourselves, if we are broken, if we are empty individually, we cannot give nothing good to others. If I'm negative to myself, if I'm hurting, if I'm devastated, there is no point I'm going to come here and give you any positive, any positive energy because you are going to receive it from me because I'm going to give you exactly what I have. I cannot give you what I do not have. And what, what, has, what has made me understand the people pleaser concept is that we, we, some people will want to please others because they think that those people know better. Because they think those people have a better interest than their own in their own life. Which most of the time is false. Because nobody, I'm sorry, even your parents, even your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever you are with, has no better interest in your life than the one you can have. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. So if you want to start stop pleasing people, you have to first understand where does it come from? Where, where are the roots of you pleasing people? Because if it's your family, that has, that's how you have been raised, you're pleasing, you're doing exactly what your parents do, tell you to do, even if you disagree, it's going to be harder for you to stop doing it because you have been grow, You have been years doing the same thing, but it's not impossible. It's important for you to stop pleasing people because pleasing others at the cost of your own happiness or your own good is not it. There is no point of you making somebody else happy while you are crying, while you are broken. You have to stop pleasing people because you have to. It's not even a choice. You have to learn to put yourself first. You put yourself as a priority. That doesn't mean you don't care about others. That doesn't mean you don't, you don't value others. It means that you put yourself as a priority because you understand that if you are good by yourself, if you are positive, if you are happy, if you are healthy, if you are simply okay with yourself, you're going to share that with others. And because guess what? An empty cup cannot put water. An empty cup cannot put water. One, you are not in charge of people's happiness. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. You are not in charge of people's happiness. You are not in charge of your mom's happiness. You are not in charge of your sibling's happiness. You are not in charge of your boyfriend, of your kid's happiness. You are not. You are only in charge of your own happiness. Yes, I'm going to say it again. You are not in charge of your mom's happiness, your dad's happiness, your sibling's happiness, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your friends. You are not in charge of your happiness. They are in charge of their happiness. You are in charge of your own happiness. If you put other people first, without thinking about how the things you are going to do are going to affect you in the first place, you are going to reduce your own self-respect. You are going to reduce your own self-worth because you're going to see yourself as a loser in your own eyes because you know deep down inside of you what you are doing is broken you. It's bringing nothing good to your life, but you are doing it just because you want to be good with other people. You want to be pleased. So again, if you want to do something that's going to make you see yourself as a piece of shit in your own eyes, but they're going to make you that but other people are going to see you as amazing, what is the point of that? What is the point of you going to sleep, hating yourself, hating the things you did, but other people thinking that, oh, you did the best, you did what was, no. Third, pleasing others can lead you into places in situations in where you end up hating yourself. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Because if you are consistently thinking about, okay, how can I make this person happy? What can I do for my friends? What can I do for my school? What can I do for my boyfriend, my girlfriend? What can I do for my mom, my dad? What can I do for my siblings? Who's thinking about what they can do for you? If you are constantly pleasing others, who is pleasing you? Think about it. 
this idea that oh no you had to make other people happy you had to support other people you had to help other people yes it's right but i cannot help nobody if i'm broke i cannot help nobody if i'm devastated if i'm dying if i'm broken and if i help you that help is not going to be it's not going to be my best help because i'm not at my best i'm not functioning at my best i i do not comprehend how can we be in a society that is training us to put other people into pedestals but it's not training us to put ourselves in pedestals you're gonna be like oh no oh i see this person so high I got to do this thing for this person because this person has more money than me, more positivity than me, more wisdom than me. I have to praise this person. You're going to put people in pedestals. But why don't you put yourself in pedestals as well? Why not? In your life, you are the center. You are, the, you, you are what is holding your life together. You are. Because without you, nothing is possible in your life. Without you, you, your, 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 your dad and mom wouldn't exist. Your silly wouldn't exist. Your friends wouldn't exist. They wouldn't exist. Do you know why? Because with you existing, you have made them exist. An empty cup cannot pour water. And it's not selfish to put yourself first. It's not selfish to be like, oh, no, I cannot hang out with you because I'm not feeling okay. I'm going to go spend time by myself. It's not selfish for you to put yourself first. It is not. It's called self-respect and it's called self-love because you love yourself enough to know that, hey, I'm not going to do this because this is draining me, because this is killing me, because this does not bring nothing positive to my life, right? And because a lot of people please others because they feel the need to be accepted, the need for approval, the need for validation. My question is, why do you want to be validated? Validated by who? Why do you want to be accepted? Accepted by who? If you had to betray who you are, if you had to put yourself in a negative situation, or if you had to kill yourself just for other people to accept you, is it worth it? If you had to hate yourself for other people to like you, is it worth it? If you had to be miserable, for other people to be happy. Is it worthy? Ask yourself, is it worthy? Because you're going to do amazing and positive things for other people, which is great. But do not forget that you had to do those amazing and positive things to yourself as well. Everywhere they tell us, even in, in school, religions, what does religion say? Love, uh, love yourself as you love others. Because if you cannot love yourself fully, the love you're going to give others is going to be conditional. It's going to be half love because you're going to feel like, oh, if I give that, per that person love, I'm not going to give myself enough love, which is false because switch it off and I start thinking that since I'm giving myself enough love every single day, daily, consistently, no matter the amount of love I can give to somebody else, I will still have love for myself. You cannot give what you do not have. I get it. Society tells us, Support others, believe in others, love others, appreciate others. But in you doing all of that, don't forget that you too are other. You too are somebody who deserves love, who deserves attention, who deserves support. The same way you thinking of believing other people, believe yourself, believe in yourself as well. Because there is no point of you being this amazing person in the eyes of other people. But in your own eyes, you are a piece of shit. There is no point. You go in trying to, you trying to please all the no. I want other people to be happy. I want you cannot. You cannot. And if that's your goal, that you thinking that you are in charge of other people's happiness, let me tell you, you are not. You are in charge of your happiness, and you are you prioritizing yourself. That's how you're gonna show others to prioritize themselves, right? You respecting yourself, that's how you're going to show others how to respect themselves. You supporting, you believing in yourself, that's the best way you can show others to believe in themselves. Why? Because with your actions, other people are going to learn. Because anybody can anybody can talk, right? As I say, my bracelets, talking is cheap. 
doing is expensive. Anybody can say, oh, I love you, I support you, I believe in you. But how many people with their actions can show you and can prove to you that they love you, that they support you, that they believe in you? Stop pleasing others. You are pleasing others because you are, because you lack, because of how you have been raised, because what you are used to. Because if you are used to doing what your mom tells you to do, you are used to be the one who makes sure your mom is happy, make sure your dad is happy, make sure your siblings are happy, make sure your boyfriend, your girlfriend is happy. If that's why you have been trained to put others first before you, switch it up. Switch it up. Because let me ask you this. Will you, will you, let's say you are a dad or you are a mom. What will make you happier? For your kid to love himself or herself, or for your kid to do anything and everything to make you feel loved, to make you feel appreciated, to make you feel respected. There is no point of you doing everything that is required to make somebody else happy, but you do nothing to make yourself happy. Put yourself as a priority. Treat yourself as the person you want to succeed, as the person you love the most. Do it. What is the point of you not loving yourself? And you think you're going to love somebody else? How are you, you going to love somebody else if you don't even know how to love yourself? Pleasing others. You want to do what makes other people happy. You want to do what other people have tell you to do. And whenever you say no, probably it's going to start happening. You're going to have confrontation. Which is something that you have to learn as well. You had to learn to say no. You had to learn to say no and you had to be perfectly okay with that. Right? That you can tell somebody, no, I'm not going to do it because I choose not to do it. I'm not going to be in that place. I'm not going to hang out with you. I'm not going to do that favor to you. Because if you are always saying yes, 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 you are pleasing people, everyone, oh, yeah, 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 you're going to end up empty. You're going to end up empty because you are giving, 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 giving. But who's fulfilling you? Who's giving to you? Who's recharging you? You. Put yourself first. Is it not? It is not self. Is it not? There is nothing negative and nothing wrong by you choosing yourself. By you choosing to empower, to love yourself, to respect yourself. By you choosing to listen to yourself before listening to others. If you are all the time pleasing other people, who is pleasing you? Be okay. It's, it's okay to say no. It's okay to not be in that place. It's okay to not have that friendship. It's okay to not go to that club. It's, it's, it's okay to not listen to this person. It's okay to not be friend with that person. It's okay to not be invited in this club. It's okay to not be part of that circle. It's okay to not be approved. It's okay to not be accepted. It is okay. It is okay to not be accepted. It is okay to not be invited. It is okay for you to be alone. If you are a people pleaser, question yourself, right? T talk to yourself for a moment. Be like, huh, why do I please others? Why do I want to make other people happy? Meanwhile, I'm unhappy with myself. If you put your energy, your time into pleasing others, right? you want to make other people happy. But is it worthy to make somebody else happy while you are crying? Is it worthy to make somebody else happy while you are broken? Is it worthy to make somebody else happy while that person is bringing negativity, toxicity to your life? Is it worthy? Talk to yourself. Understand the roots of why you are. And, and I said at the beginning, I do not, I do not blame you if, if you are a people pleaser. But I do blame you. If after this video, you still choose to be a people pleaser. Because society trains us like that. You please your parents, please your boyfriend, please your siblings, please your friends. That's what they, they train us to do. And the moment you're going to stop pleasing others, or you're going to stop doing what others want you to do, because you know better, or because you want to do different, they're going to call you crazy, they're going to call you arrogant, they're going to call you disrespectful. It's not disrespectful. I simply love myself enough to tell you no to what you're asking me to do. I'm going to say it again. If you're a people pleaser, I do not blame you. Society train us to be people pleasers. 
However, if after watching this video, you still choose to be a people pleaser, that's your choice. You are choosing your own misery. You are, using, you are choosing your own unhappiness. Because again, if you are consistently pleasing others, who is pleasing you? It is not your responsibility. Other people's happiness is not your responsibility. It's not your obligation. It is not on you to make your parents happy. It is not on you to make your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your siblings or your classmate or whoever happy. It's on them. The same way it's on you to make yourself happy, it's on them to make themselves happy. Why? Because nobody will do for you what you cannot do for your own self. I'm going to ask you again. If you are consistently pleasing others, who is pleasing you? Let me know in the comment what you think about this video. Subscribe and see you in my next video. Thank you.